Scales and rails for knee flexion. This is a exercise that is gonna crush a lot of people because most of you are probably gonna cramp in the hamstring. So it just, just tells you that you need to work on knee flexion. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up in a quad stretch with the bench. You can use a box or even something lower, but preferably you wanna have your foot up high to really challenge the knee flexion uh, movement. So a little foam pad at the bottom so you're not feeling like you're reaching for it. If you're a little bit shorter, you can lift that uh, pad a little bit higher. So from here, we're gonna use the dowels to add a little bit more tension and drive it down into the ground. And we're holding this stretch passively for about two minutes. After that two minute mark, we're gonna uh, start with our pales contraction. So what we're gonna do is drive these into the ground to create tension, and I'm pushing my back foot into the bench as hard as possible for 10 seconds. After that 10 second pales contraction, I'm gonna try to bridge the gap from my bum to my heel to get a little bit closer. From there, I am going to go into my rails contraction where I'm gonna try to lift my heel into my bum, and I'm driving, getting off the bench, getting off the bench, Nice and slow, I'm gonna return, and from there I'm done my whole pails and rails uh, movement. So you'll find a lot of times when you start this, your hamstring will cramp with the rails contraction. So you wanna go nice and slow. If you cramp, just stop, relax, reset, or possibly just start with the um, passive stretch for two minutes and build your tolerance up. So putting that all together, that is pails and rails for knee flexion.